All right, so I tried to get the girls this morning because Ashley had her hair done, kind of like me this morning, but got running late and out the door too fast, and the battery on this was dying. You're going to a meeting, right? I'm off to a meeting, yeah. And so I have to do Costco alone, which isn't a big deal, but he likes to go to Costco, but I don't want to wait for him. And because <laughs> I want to go and get, Whatever. the only reason why I, I don't want to wait for him. I need to carry and get some stuff too. I've never been there, so yeah. I need to see what kind of dividing has. and conquering today. But then we're going to meet at Lowe's later today and get some wood because we're going to finally make the benches for our table that goes outside. But we can't take the table outside quite yet because it's still going to rain here in Seattle and I don't want to take it out until it's really fully sun summertime. So and it's a total biatch to lift. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to lift it this time. I'm going to have our friend do it. <laughs> um, by the way, Shane, if you watch this, you're doing it. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know if we're going to have a lot of time to make the bench today, but we're going to get the wood and kind of prep our plans. So stay tuned for that. And then um, I will do a full tutorial on we how also, to make the bench. We also have the extended weekend coming up, so. I know. I can so, go on my hike tomorrow and um, we'll have plenty of time. I forgot about that long weekend. So anyway, uh, we're gonna divide and conquer today and then maybe work on a project. So, and we have a concert tonight. Chelsea has a oh, yeah, yeah. chorus well, concert. That'll be fun. I love their little concert events and stuff. Yeah, so it'll be a fun day. So break. Break, oh. Go team! Yeah, we're not a sports <laughs> fan. <laughs> okay, bye, hon. So something I do before I go to Costco is I make sure I kind of go through the house and see what we need to get. Not obviously Pringles. That was my movie snack. But you guys, today is my normal day to go to Costco. And this is my last gallon of milk. I literally like did the last dribble on my bowl of cereal. We literally go through four gallons of milk a week. It's insane. <laughs> and I'm out of cereal and... The other thing that is like almost to a T is the amount of fruit that we use on a weekly basis down to one piece of fruit. And this is only because Jason didn't eat it for his lunch yesterday. So anyway, I'm going to go through and clean out the fridge just a little bit. It's kind of messy and I've got some leftovers in there that I need to kind of take care of. But that's what I do before I go to Costco. I make sure I kind of reevaluate like this thing of lettuce usually lasts us about two weeks so it's on its last leg so I, I know I need to get lettuce but like my carrots are fine Chelsea clearly didn't zip it up after she went to get her lunch ready today but anyway kind of what I do before I head to Costco or even the grocery store but more importantly Costco all right so I've got the fridge cleaned out I didn't do a deep clean I didn't pull the buckets out didn't even pull the trays out, but I got it all cleaned up. I've got all my jars and stuff here. I could have done a better job of cleaning this off, but it's good enough. And then I got all my leftovers taken out. I just have pasta from last night, potatoes from the night before, and then my cottage cheese. And this is the leftover corn batter from our corn dogs. I think I'll probably make those tonight for quick dinner before we go to the concert. I just need to, actually speaking of which, I need to get some hot dogs out of the freezer. And then our bread shelf. I've got plenty of cheese and deli meat here and more in the freezer. I've got those stocked up quite well, but I do need, we need milk and we need eggs, fruit and vegetables. Well, I've got plenty of carrots. And then I usually don't, I used to put yogurts down here, but they don't eat regular yogurts. Oh, you can see our evidence of the ice cream last night but they usually eat frozen go -Gurts. So our Abby likes to have non-frozen go -Gurts. So I might put some of those into this little container in the fridge, but I think I'm ready to go to Costco. I just need to get ready. All right, so I have gotten ready for the day. Normally I wouldn't get ready for Costco <laughs> like this. There's no need, but with Chelsea's concert tonight and Anyway, a few other things today. I just figured it was probably better to like get myself done up and look nice. <laughs> anyway, and my skin was having a hard time, so I went ahead and shaved my face and kind of got off some of the grime. So anyway, I'm ready to go. And I'm not wearing anything fancy, but Jason brought me a new pair of shoes and I wanted to show you what they look like. So he got me another pair. I've had, this is my third pair of these. The brand is 
uh, a tracks I don't think it's gonna focus I don't think it's gonna focus on that but they're called a tracks and I love them super comfy that's when it comes in handy to own a shoe store so that was really nice of him to bring me a new pair of shoes I took another pair that he got me to Hawaii and they worked for the two weeks before Hawaii I wore them around the house to make sure that they worked and wore them clear to Hawaii on day three I could not wear them any longer they felt like concrete on my feet I don't know what was wrong with them but anyway he hasn't had any problem with them selling them to customers but they just didn't work for my feet so he got me this pair and I know that they'll work because this is my third pair so anyway I just also wanted to I don't know maybe I'm in a chatty mood don't have anyone to talk to <laughs> here at home but uh, I'm reading a book called the gentleman a gentleman in Moscow by a more towels and if I'm like totally botching that I'm so sorry anyway it's our book club book um, for this month and you know so we decided on that like a year ago well uh, in, in November we decided on this book I'm gonna head out actually I'm gonna get a water bottle but I was talking to my mom a couple days ago about our books we always talk books and what we're reading and sorry now I'm gonna lock the front door <laughs> just what I do when I get ready to go but anyway she has heard about that book but she hasn't ever read it herself um, and then she said that my neighbor loves it so Kathy thank you for the recommendation I didn't get the water bottle you guys it's a wonder I make it out of the house without kids like how did I do it with kids anyway got a water bottle I need to hydrate better my scan the other day was a full bladder scan for them to test the ultrasound equipment and I drank before I went but it was early in the morning and within like five minutes they were like um you're dehydrated so they gave me oh they gave me like two cups of water and they were like we need you to guzzle this so that we can finish doing this ultrasound so I'm trying to hydrate better especially now that it's getting warmer weather and I'm probably gonna need my sunglasses so see how bright it is the Sun has finally come out it won't last but it's come out anyway what was I talking about so this book so not only does my mom recommend it my next-door neighbor back home recommended it um, I say that because like it's always like my home like I've been away from home for 17 years but it's like always gonna be my home and Kathy's always gonna be my neighbor <laughs> and all my other neighbors are always gonna be my neighbor it's just you know when you grow up in a small town and you have wonderful friends and family that live around you you know you just don't ever get away from it so anyway um, then I was chatting on Instagram yesterday with my friend and she said that that Moscow book the gentleman in Moscow wait for the Sun so she said that that book was one of her all-time favorite books like of anything she's ever read highly recommended it so now I'm even more excited to start reading it I actually got to like page 100 last night when I was reading it so if you haven't read it maybe go ahead and read it Jason was pointing out the other day that I didn't start my book club series I think it was right around a time when I was um, really getting on top of doing these daily videos and staying on track and staying scheduled ahead and I just couldn't manage that and try and work in this whole book thing and right about that same time we lost comments on our channel so there's no point in having like a book club type of scenario on a channel if you can't comment immediately right after you've watched a video no amount of going to Instagram is going to have a conversation you know that's cohesive so I just decided to hold off on it and maybe not do it I don't know but if you've read this book and, and recommend it you know you can leave a comment on my Instagram page I will probably put a comment on there just so we can chat about it just for the fun of it but anyway if everyone is at a, if anyone is wondering what happened to that whole book club thing that's kind of where that one went now I'm hot in my car I got to turn the air on <laughs> and I want to go to Costco and I will go to Costco and I'm actually looking at my shelf to make sure I'm not forgetting anything 
that I need at the store. But I'm also tempted, I saw a post the other day about Hobby Lobby having a 75% off sale and I need a few baskets. And I know Jason, if he was here, he'd be rolling his eyes and oh my gosh, we don't need a new basket. But I have some ideas and if I can find large enough baskets for a cheap enough price, I have some ideas. So I'm gonna run to Hobby Lobby really quick while I don't have groceries in the car and while he's not nagging on me. And then I will hit up Costco. And then probably about that same time, he will be done at his meeting. meeting and so we will be able to hook up and go to Lowe's. So, I mean, just get together and go to Lowe's. <laughs> anyway. impulse shopper and deal shopper in me wanted to buy that tiered tray but the budget shopper said no so we kind of had a fight with each other in there it's not what I went in looking for although I have been looking for a tiered tray I want it to go on my front counter or even on my front table in my entryway but it's not what I went in there looking for and it's not what I need to spend my money on right now so what I'm looking for, let me turn off my air really quick. What I'm looking for, and I, I mean, I didn't really find anything to compare it to. I need a really big basket, and it needs to be at least like 13 or 14 inches wide. There's a fire truck going by. It needs to be like 13, 14 inches wide by probably about the same depth or even more. Like I need it to be really, really big, but also really sturdy. So it kind of, anyway, that's why it's gonna cost me a little bit to, once I find it. But I was hoping that with this clearance sale that Hobby Lobby had, that it was gonna, I would be able to find something for 75% off. I didn't find it. But I, what I wanna do is I have all my old scrapbooks from, some of my kids have a scrapbook. I think the first two have a scrapbook. The other two, I feel bad that they don't have one. But I have ones from like our wedding and from Jason and I dating and from high school and college. And I have all these scrapbooks in bins in my garage and I want to display them, but they don't fit on any Ikea shelving units. So they, they're too wide. They're like 14 inches wide. And so I've never been able to display them and the kids have never seen my wedding photos and I don't get them out because they're stuck in a bin in the garage and it's dusty. But I want to put them in big huge baskets on both sides of my big shelving units in my front entryway. I'll show you when I get home. But um, so that they're out and then eventually I want to get like a really cute cozy chair to sit in the one of the corners and then maybe even like a coffee table so that you can sit there look at these cute you know memory books or read a book or anything like that and kind of get use out of that room and not just have it be you know looking pretty or whatever so but I didn't find it and it's really hot I can just turn my air on and go to Costco <laughs> but I did good on saying no to something I don't need right now so my budget said thank you I read your bus. His smile grows out one side of his mouth. So I just got home from Costco, got all the groceries unloaded. I went and got my mail, and I got a really fun package from my friend Mary. <laughs> Mary, you did not have to do this, but I don't know what she sent me, so let's open it together. All right, so my friend Mary has an Instagram account where she sells products craft project and oh my gosh I see where this is going her account is Mary Berry Boutique I will link it below so Mary my friend that I've met here through my channel and on Instagram she has a boutique Mary Berry Boutique and she sells really cute craft projects she makes all of these you see where this is going look at this look how cute like Mary 
you're killing me. So I just need to drill the holes in each of these stars. Then I need to figure out a hole for these guys, probably right here and right there. And it'll be the cutest little 4th of July garland. Mary, stop it. So I have an idea. I'm really hot. <laughs> it's really starting to warm up today. So I have an idea. Not only do I wanna start crafting and getting ready for the 4th of July, start kind of pulling some of my stuff out. I also just want to start crafting again. So not only do I want to do Mary's garland, which is super cute, Mary. Thank you very much. I'll read your card here in a minute. But I also got this really cute, look at this, teardrop trailer. And you know me and trucks. I have another truck. Here, let me show you. So it goes with the truck and the trailer. I think I'm hoping that I can reverse it and do it on this side so I can have it displayed that way. So hopefully these will just flip around and I can do it that way. But look how cute that's gonna be. So I'm kinda thinking I'm gonna do this one somewhat neutral, but maybe with some reds and blues in it so that it can go along with the 4th of July because I'm not gonna have a camper trailer up like during the winter. So maybe I can kinda do a combination craft day where we just do this one and we do this one so I might do my truck a little bit more neutral with like whites and grays and navy blue. And then this one a little bit more 4th of July-ish. So I can leave my truck out a little bit longer during the summer. So it's not necessarily like splattered in like 4th of July. Anyway, Mary, that is super nice. That made my day. I'm so happy. So you guys, in return, go and check out her Instagram account, Mary Berry Boutique. She seriously has the cutest craft projects. So go and order some from her. She'll have stuff on her Instagram account that you can order. You can either order it plain like this where you can do it yourself. But I think maybe she does it where she's decorated it. I don't know. Mary, you can let them know on Instagram. So anyway, that just made my day. And guess what, you guys? Jason's not done with his meeting. It's almost one o'clock. I'm hot and I'm done. Like the dishes are done. The groceries are bought. There's no laundry. Actually, there probably is laundry, but I'm not gonna go get it. I am going to sit on the couch with my cold beverage and read a book because I can. Uh, Jason will get home, we'll go get the wood, but because I don't wanna like undo the face and the makeup and the, in the heat outside in the garage, we'll probably just buy the wood and then I need to like decide on the plans for the wood bench. I'm rambling, I wanna go read a book, try and sit in front of a fan and relax, cause I can. And then Jason will get home and we'll go from there. All right, so Jason just showed up and he has some surprise for me, so he wants to document it. You're gonna remember this. Okay, hang on, hang on, I gotta show. Shut the front door. They Found finally it. had it? Well, it's not a Costco. Where it's was that? It's a Cash and Carry. Are you serious? Yeah, Cash and Carry has it. This stuff is good. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, we're totally making some. Right now. Like, we're making this. I haven't even had lunch. We're totally making this. This has not been at Costco for years. Like, wouldn't you say like 15 years? Well, I don't know about 15. Well, I guess so. Yeah, we used to buy this when we were first married. Is it like the little dough balls? Yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes. We are turning the oven on right now. What does it go to? Um. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good right now. Where's the... Preheat 350. So, yeah, we did eat these a long time ago. They're really good. You mix it with ice cream even. Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. What is this? Otis Spudmeyer? Spunkmeyer. Spunk? Spunk. Spunk, spunk. Uh, really good stuff. And I saw it when I was at Cash and Carry. Yep. And it's got a different name to it. And, um... Hang on. He needs to make sure he can actually see himself <laughs> by putting out the viewfinder. I'm fine with... So here's the problem. Uh, is it how do we hide this from the kids? Like they cannot find out. Abby will make these like every day after school. Like she seriously will eat these. Yeah, they're good. They're good. She'll make these and Chelsea will come down in the morning and eat the dough. Well, I'm gonna eat so the dough. So I gotta find a spot in the freezer. Like they can't. We'll find help. some, we'll put it in a different bag and hide it. I'm anyway, just gonna tell them like really I cool. made cookies. I'm not gonna tell them these like dough yeah. things exist. Yeah. So anyways, that's a fun little treat I surprised Dana with. I'm an awesome husband. He Thanks is an awesome watching. husband. <laughs>
Tell and Dad's home and making some of the calls because. Well, yeah, because he said so. Oh. <laughs> the dishwasher steamed up <laughs> the camera lens. All right, well, Dad said you could have ice cream, right? Yeah. Okay, this is it. You don't get more later. Okay. Your hair is all fuzzy now, but it was really cute this morning, huh? Can you put the phone down long enough to scoop it up yourself? Smile. When dad's home, he's kind of a sucker for these girls. Kind of no. sucker. You yeah. are a sucker. I know, but it's like four o'clock. Anyway, obviously we didn't go and get wood today. We only have like an hour after Jason got home. And we, we had to go in. Tonight, Mom. I know. Yeah, we're going. We only had an hour before we had to go and take Kaylee to her orthodontist appointment and getting them at the bus stop. So we just ran out of time to get the wood today. So Jason and I will do that tomorrow, probably after he goes for a hike, and then we'll have time tomorrow to make the bench. But well, for now, we're just gonna kind of hang out with these guys before they go play, and then we have her little concert tonight, right, Chels? Yeah. And then we'll end our day. Yay. So that's kind of fun. Okay, we ready to go to Chelsea's concert? Yeah. Oh, now your bows are a different color, wrong color. Here, let's just take out this one. There. Except here. Now I need to make it in the middle. Let's roll, girls. Okay, let's go. Chelsea, are you all ready? Yeah. Yeah. You're tired? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 